Hey everybody, I'm Gardner, the Linux Gamer. I was invited out to Denver, Colorado to see System76 and the new stuff that they're working on. If you missed that video, it's like right here, or somewhere up there. I had a lot of fun, and it wasn't just about seeing their prototype designs. They had like this cool Legend of the Lake thing going on. I just wanted to let you guys in on a little bit of the journey that I went on. It all started when I got this scroll in the mail. Huh, I wonder what this is. Mr. Gamer, we extend to you the honor of joining our quest. So I went to get packed and I headed out. But what I didn't anticipate was my flight being grounded, so I woke up at 3 a.m. to catch the flight the next day. When I landed, it was about 1 p.m. local time, and I caught an Uber to their headquarters. When I got there, I met up with Cassidy from Elementary OS, and he started showing me around. I was then dubbed Sir Gamer by Ian, and given the sick cape. I dubbed the Sir the next Gamer. Ah. I had this character card that I was given, and I had to fill it out at the different stations around their office. This is when I was bestowed the class of Fighter. That class was chosen because of the cool helmet I was wearing. I mean, I feel cool right now. Should look, I not feel cool? You look awesome. Okay, I feel yeah, good. Yeah, pretty sweet. The helmet had electrodes that could read my brainwaves. The software interpreting the brainwaves was called OpenBCI, or Brain Computer Interface, and it was really fun to try and manipulate. From there, I went to the foundry. That's where I got a weapon and saw the Lulzbot 3D printer. So wow. this is, it actually has iron in the filament, and it could rust, it is magnetic. Then I was bestowed magical powers by throwing some glitter into a cauldron and mashing it with a hammer. Stir? Stir? Stir in the cauldron? Yes, perfect. <laughs> the computer displayed what would happen to me if I abused my magical powers. If you abuse your powers, you will... I, look, I start to look like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> this prediction was based on a neural network software written in Python, and I thought that was really neat. And in case you were wondering, my magical power was the ability to summon the bard with a cold one and a song. I once met an OS so fine, that without it I'd surely whine. A computer for me, or maybe three, Ubuntu would be mine. So with my spouse's consent, to System 76 I went. I checked out before bed and then rested my head. And patiently waited because shipping takes time. <laughs> well done. I also get to see the Hall of Legends. That's where the company displayed some of the cool stuff their customers had made using System 76 machines. And then this one over here, Pixar presentation that happened earlier in the year. They use our Bonobo with a dual GPU in order to display um, some really cool stuff that they just opened up to the public and GitHub. I also get to see their refreshed line of laptops, including the Oryx Pro, the Serval workstation, and the Bonobo workstation. These new laptops are powered by Intel Kaby Lake processors and NVIDIA 10 series GPUs. They also come with high DPI displays that are good for both work and play. Coincidentally, this refresh line is available right now on their website. It's funny how they timed this trip to coincide with the release of their stuff. But then, like, the party started. I got to meet so many awesome people. The Superfan Event winners, George Castro from Canonical, Brian Lunduk, and so many more. We had a chance to play a bunch of games together. We played like Tricky Towers, Towerfall Ascension, and a bunch of others. It was epic. The next morning we saw a bunch of prototypes that they've been working on. If you want to learn more about those prototypes, click this video right here. I had so much fun and I just want to thank their team for having me out there and for their dedication to the Linux community. You guys are awesome. But what do you think? Should I have played an elf? I'm more of a gnome, personally. Uh, let me know down in the comments or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. Um, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.